No, I'm I'm in the complete uh, complete agreement with you. Uh, we've experienced on AI Studio. We have multiple models, and fo folks are confused with a drop down. So recently, what we've done is redesigned that drop down, so it gives a clear understanding of what this model is. There's like a one liner on the strengths, I believe, and then uh, transparency like pricing, and that makes it easier for users to do their initial. Uh, shopping, right? And then they're as they're testing out these models on AI Studio, they're starting to narrow down to their specific use cases. And um, the second thing is also when I I talk to developers, they're always wanting to see what's next on the roadmap because each new model gets them closer to to their dream app and what they want to do. But of course, you know the bar is high and it's never quite there. So. Um, yeah, as they're unlocking different use cases, they, they're they asking for like more specialized models or they're saying, hey, for this specific use case, we can tolerate latency, uh, give us more controls 